What's up guys, Justin here with The Character Essentials. So in today's video, we're gonna learn how to set up AccuFace so that you can do facial motion capture from your webcam. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so remember that AccuFace is a plugin for iClone that you can use in order to do face tracking from either live or recorded video. So I will link to this in the notes down below. If you do wanna give it a try, um, you can do it through Reillusion's website. Um, if you do end up purchasing through my link, that is an affiliate link, meaning that um, I will receive a commission if you do purchase through that link. But um, basically the way that this works is this is a separate plugin that you're gonna bring in. And so you can see that this operates as kind of a standalone. So I'm currently running the trial right now, um, but this is operating as a standalone. Um, so when you do purchase, that'll get downloaded and installed through your Reillusion hub. But this is gonna run separate from iClone itself. And so this is just a simple character that I brought in. This is just the Kevin character, but you can see how right now we don't have anything to link this to. So what you need to do is you need to have both AccuFace and iClone running at the same time. Okay, so once you get AccuFace up and running, you can see how this is a separate window and you're probably going to want to set this window so that it stays on top. That's what this button can do right here. Um, but now this is going to stay on top even if I click over here and I move around in iClone. But what we wanna do is we wanna select the webcam that we wanna use. So in this case, for example, I'm gonna use this Elgato face cam. And so in this case, I wanna select this Elgato face cam from the list because that's the webcam that I'm using. And notice how when this pops up, it's going to start tracking your face. And so you've got settings over here for your different resolutions. So it's recommended that you use the 1280 by 720, I believe. Um, the manual says to use the 720p resolution, but then it also says to set your tra tracking frames per second to 60 um, if possible. So that's gonna probably give you the best performance is what it sounds like right now. And so then once you set up your camera settings, it's recommended that you calibrate your facial capture. So when you click on this, what this is gonna do is it's gonna ask you to set a number of different expressions, right? So it's gonna ask you to do um, an expression over here and you can use this to set. So for me, we've got neutral face, brow raise, brow drop and brow inner raise, which I don't think I can actually do. Um, so that's just gonna calibrate this so that it more easily tracks your face. And notice how you can adjust those in here using the adjustment functions down below. So if you didn't like the way that you did that, you could click on the adjust button in order to reset that facial capture. And so one thing I didn't really talk about is there is also this option over here for a video. So you can upload a video of you talking and it'll do the facial tracking on the video as well. I think we'll talk about that in a separate video. Um, let's go ahead and get you up and running with your first facial uh, capture here first. Okay, and so now what we wanna do is we want to connect this to iClone. So we're gonna jump back into iClone and we're gonna select the option for motion live. And so when you do that, that's gonna pop up this motion live window and you're gonna have an IP address right here. That IP address needs to be the same as the internal IP address that's over here on the left-hand side. And if you do need to adjust this for whatever reason, you can go into the set server TCP uh, port and you can set the last number in here in order to give you something a little bit more unique. One thing to note for me is when I first did this, um, there was an error over here. It was giving me kind of a weird IP address. I'm not sure what it was, but there was an actually a hotfix version that I was able to download off of the support page for iClone uh, that worked just fine. So just be aware that if you do have that issue, which it seems like most people don't, but if you do, um, then download that hotfix version and um, you should be able to use that to fix this. But once you're done with that and you've got your connection right here, and by the way, you might have to click on this and add AccuFace in here. But once you've got this connection set up, you can click on this button right here in order to connect. And so notice how once I set up connect, this is going to work just fine. So now this is showing me because it's green that this is connected between my gear list right here and AccuFace. So this is now sending data from AccuFace to iClone. But now what we wanna do is we wanna go down into our character list. And since we only have one character, uh, we only have one option in here, um, but 
If you had multiple characters in here, um, you can select which character these this motion should be applied to. But in this situation, we want to set it up so it's getting face data from AccuFace. So if you click on this, and specifically click on the little triangle right here, it's going to start feeding that data from AccuFace into iClone. And so there's two options in here. There's an option for preview and an option for record. And so there are also some guidelines on the manual page about the way that you should light this. So my lighting is probably not ideal with my YouTube lighting in the background. Um, so if you are having issues with what it's picking up, um, you can definitely look at these facial mocap guidelines in order to kind of show what your lighting should be. Okay, and so you've got two options in here down below. You've got the option for preview and you've got the option for record. So preview is a good way for you to start previewing what this is going to look like in your scene. So I'm gonna take this character, move him over, maybe set this back so that it locks right here, but we're gonna click on preview. And notice how in order for the preview to start, you have to press the space key. And so what you can do is hit space, and this is going to start linking to your face. So notice how if I move back and forth like this, it's actually starting to put these together in here. Now, one thing I will say, and this is probably something that gets better with the Aculips. I haven't really played around with this. The one thing it's probably the worst, and it's not bad, um, but it's the worst out of all the things that this is tracking seems to kind of be the mouth animation. Like it is picking it up, but it's definitely not picking up like every tiny little thing that's in here, um, that, that doesn't mean that it's not a super cool effect, um, right? It's picking up like, if I, if I wink, it's picking up the wrinkles on my face. It picks up nose motions, other things like that. It's really picking all this up really well. You can kind of move your face back, face down. And ideally you're probably not wearing a hat either, but um, I am, so here we are and it's picking this all up fine. But this is doing a great job of picking this up so you can use it to kind of preview. So that's gonna give you the preview. The record is actually going to record your facial capture in here. And note that I'm getting a trial warning because I just downloaded this like ASAP this morning um, because I wanted to get a video made about it. But if I click on okay, and then I hit the space key, this is actually going to record your animation as you go. And you can see how this is kind of slowing down a little bit, but it's definitely picking up all of those different movements in here just like this. So when you're done, you can hit the space key to stop, but notice how that's recorded all of these frames in here. So if I click on play, it's actually recorded this animation and it's ready to go. Okay, so one thing I didn't do that you can do is you can also set this to record audio. So notice how I can select a microphone in here and I can record that, then if I do a facial capture animation, so if I do a record, we'll just run another one. We'll hit space and we'll go ahead and record like this. So then it's going to pick up all that facial motion capture data and apply it, but it's also going to pick up the audio. So it's gonna pick up the audio and sync it to this video as we go. So once I'm done recording, I'm just gonna hit the space key right here. Notice how it's gonna convert your speech and so now, if you were to play this video, and so what it's done is it's actually applied the audio in here. And I don't know how well you could hear that because it was just coming out of my speakers, but you can use this to use the audio as well as the video in here at the same time. So you can actually record yourself talking um, or doing character acting or other things like that. I think I've probably got too many video programs running because I've got a screen recorder going over here as well. Um, but um, that actually sets up really nicely um, without you having to do a whole bunch of additional setup or anything like that. All right, so that's where I'm gonna end this video. That should give you kind of a basis for setting up AccuFace. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Um, I will link to AccuFace on this page as well. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.